It is 20 minutes after 7 on Morning Barbados. We continue to tell our story here and someone who's doing a whole lot better of a job than that, especially for children, is John Martin. He's brought with us a very lively looking little book that I'm sure that someone is going to be very pleased to be reading to someone or reading themselves. What brings me joy? A day at the park. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well. Tell Happy us a little here. bit about um, how you came up with the concept for the book. Uh, the concept first came to me on my way, first time back to Barbados after being gone for quite a while. And um, the book itself was inspired by my daughter, who at the time was seven years old. Uh, from then, we, she worked with me to create the characters, and I had her create the art direction for the book. And through her vision, I then created what you have in your hand right now. She must be really happy to um, know um, that what she's thought about and sh what she's worked with with her daddy is actually in paper form. Yes, she's, she's very happy about it. But I'm even more proud that uh, I was able to see her vision and understand it, interpret it, and be able to present it as a, a tool that I believe will market Barbados in a very, a very positive direction. And what, what age group is, is this um, book skewed? It's, it's, it's suggested for early readers, I believe between the age of three to eight. But what I like about it is, because Doug's looking through it and we've got some mm -hmm. illustrations, so none of this kind of like sanitized, very almost studio drawn, there's actually paper and, pe paper and pencil drawings in there. Yes, I wanted to show the, the actual drawings of hers that helped create the book, so I include them in this version. That's, that's uh, Destiny. Destiny, yeah. And th I see the butterfly garden and the windows. Um, yeah. The windows, the, the, the page with the windows, that was the one that inspired me most because she depicted the windows in such a way, the characters, in her original drawing, the characters themselves have eyes as windows. Uh -huh. And I thought that was really beautiful. And, and as we all know, windows are the eyes of the soul. Of course. So um, I took that particular aspect, plus her love for the, the, the park and the beach and stuff like that. So most of my, most of my, the book is actually a series and the whole series is dedicated to what makes you happy and what brings you joy. And I think that, um, the, the kids of today need to remember the very simple things that creates that joy in their life. We tend to forget, even as adults. Other titles in the series, what makes me happy? Uh, to I this have, one um, is The Park. Are there any others? Yes. A Day at the Beach, which is more specifically directed to Barbados. And uh, my third one would be Outdoor Games. I have one, uh, Music Makes Me Happy. And these are the things that I believe that when you or feeling down or sad, if you dedicate yourself to remember what it is that makes you happy, you can live a more joyous life and accomplish more of your, your goals. I, I see, I, I hear you suggest that um, these books have a, an impact on the marketing of Barbados. Yeah. And, and I notice that, that there is a... Uh, the mouth is a trident. Yes, I, that, I'm seeing that popping up in, in, in the book. Is that, that's obviously deliberate. Yes, intentional. Mm -hmm. Intentional. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create something that reflected Barbados and in such a way that the, the, the youth, the, the people of Barbados could, could be proud. I don't think, I have not seen that Barbados had anything that was specifically dedicated to that, especially in the trendy market, the cartoons. I think that um, from my observation, that is something that's pretty popular at the moment. And if you can impact the, the kids from that age, that it could have a, a, a great, you know, positive response. Who uses this book and what has been the response to it? Well, um, I, I, in, in Los Angeles, I, I have a career in art. And I also teach art right now in the, the public schools, and specifically Long Beach. Mm -hmm. And the kids, everyone that's seen my book, the first thing they do is they, I, I see them light up. You know, the colors, the, 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 the kids, everything is smile and joyous. And um, it's not just for, for children, but children of all ages. We all have that kid inside of us. Mm -hmm. the, the response has been very good. Um, 
like I said, when people see my book, they tend to light up, make them feel happy. So it's not just the title, but the intention behind the whole book. You know, John, there are people who would say, books are dying. It's all about the we now. It's all about PSP and, and laptops and iPads. But you're still producing books, the, 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 the physical. Well, what is the role of the book, you think, in childhood these days? Well, to, to actually hold it in your hand, and uh, it's, it's like art itself. And yes, you can have art on uh, the computer, you can have it digitized, but there's nothing like having that piece within your hands. And the book, it will lead to that kind of stuff. It, it will, I have, um, I've created an actual digital book, which makes it worldwide. You can access it right away. And that's at um, happyislandbooks.com. You can go see that right away. But this is just the beginning. And this is actually my sample. Uh, currently, I'm hoping and looking. And I decided this is my first TV show in regards to the book. And I am looking to get the support of Barbados and Barbadians. I decided to come back home to do this. I could do it overseas. But I decided to come back here to do that. I think that uh, with the support of my home and the people here, it would then it would then build that confidence and security that I believe, you know, I need to move forward. What has been the local response to this? Uh, they love it. They love it. Um, I'm hoping to meet with the marketing director at the Board of Tourism. I have some great suggestions on what this can do for the island. I, I also made a, a coloring version, a small coloring version that I believe... Let's have a look. Good, good, good. I can see small children on long haul flights, flights from the yeah, UK yeah, yeah. really having a ball with these books. Yeah. Um, a little competition between siblings, maybe. I mean, you're more, I think, than an adoring father who's decided to write a book inspired by his daughter. Um, there, there's so much more to, to John Martin in our final few moments. Just give, <laughs> give us a taste of you know, the, where this book fits in your overall professional offering, in your teaching, in your work in art, in photography. Everything. Not photography. It's actually uh, paint, painting. Painting. I've worked with a number of celebrities in Los Angeles. I've done, um, I've done commercials. Mm -hmm. I've done uh, movies, and I've worked with music videos. Missy Elliott, um, Shamar Moore, uh, P Diddy. Uh, so many, so many within the, the hip hop, and um, this, this is what I've done for the past 20 years. So and the paintings. Yes, they are, it's all art. It's not, it's not photographs. I'm asking this for a reason, folks, because you would be hard-pressed to think of this as not a print, so I'm going to give you an idea of what it's looking like. But yes, this is what you've been uh, pursuing for 20 years, you 20 said? Years. 20 years. Can you imagine how lifelike that is? It just really does <laughs> look like a snap of the lady herself. How, how was the transition between um, this kind of work and the animation for the book? Uh, being an artist, I... I like to say that everything is art, and I spent time to educate myself in using all different type of tools. So going from the airbrush to computer to cutting hair, um, it is all just art to me. And uh, it was a very smooth transition because I've dedicated my life to art. I was doing art from the time I was in high school here. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Ellerslie Secondary School. Oh, Cassandra. Uh, uh, hi to all my, my friends from the school. <laughs> <laughs> But um, art is my life, and it, it, it just comes natural. It's second nature to me. I think it's interesting you said that, um, we're taking, so, uh, taking a look at some, uh, some of the other pieces from your portfolio. I think it's interesting you said that if it was necessary to keep abreast of different medium, yeah. uh, because then you don't get pigeonholed into exactly. one in, in particular. Um, but didn't you also find that maybe you became a jack of all trades and not mastering any one of them? The trade itself is art. Tool is, is, the tools are different, but the trade itself is art. So I'm a master of art. The, like I said, they're just tools. Pencil, crayons, paint. It doesn't matter. Anything you give me, I can create art with it. We, we like that, Dick. <laughs> well, what Barbadian subject matter has captured your imagination? Did, did you think you, you're willing to just sit down and just etch on canvas? The subject matter itself is the people. Um, I, I, I love... I, I just love Barbados, and anyone you ask would tell you Barbados seem to, Barbadians seem to be the most peaceful people on the earth. The island is beautiful, so um, 
I've always observed people. People, I, I love uh, figure drawing. Portraits are my specialties. So I must say people. In, in, when, in my work, I tend to portray the love that I feel from the people. We're feeling the love from these books and from this <laughs> work here. It's some very, very creative stuff. You do, you do original um, art on sneakers, for example. Yes. Yes. And, and I, so what, uh, what happens? I would commission you to, to do something special for me? What about cute heels? Yeah. I'm wearing cute yeah, heels yeah. today. No, <laughs> really <more>. Sorry. <laughs> I've done, I've done this, quite a few pairs of sneakers. The ones you're looking at there. Mm -hmm. The composition book, those were uh, commissioned by Will Smith. And the ones that say respect were for Missy Elliott. So I've done shoes for quite a few different people. And, and not to mention hairstyles. Yes, hairstyles also. Yeah, that, that also caught my attention. Some that, incredible... That is just flipping well, away I, there. I started cutting hair I started cutting here as, uh, when I was about 11 or 12, um, it was one of the trays, I grew up in Chalky Mount St. Andrew, and um, cutting here was one of the trays of my friends, and uh, I learned quite early to cut my friends here. I cut their hair, they cut mine. So it was something that I continued as I, as I pr proceed in my, in my art. A whole, my a whole art lot adventure. of trial and a little bit of error. Yeah, yeah. So how are you going to connect all this talent with Barbados now? How I'm going to connect, connect all, all this, this wonderful talent. talent. Well, my goal is to do that through the book. Through the book. Um, like I said, this is just the beginning. And I, as I said, I, work, I, worked with, I worked with kids and I love to teach. What I like to do is come back, come back home and give some of what I've learned over the years. It's very simple. I believe that um, when you connect with, for me, what, 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 I, what, I, what, I, what I project in my book is, I believe, the foundation of what, what um, generated my success. I went to the beach, I, um, and I have a particular story. This one is still in the creation, mm -hmm. but it reflects the beach. And for me, uh, going to the beach, going to the parks, doing these simple things, the games, the different things that, that make you happy, it, it can then connect you with any, any, anything you want to do in life, you first have to start, start with, with that foundation. Well, it certainly made us happy to have you here, John. What Makes Me Happy, What Brings Me Joy is a series of books by a uh, noted author, artist, and uh, general master of the art of art, <laughs> uh, John Martin. Uh, you can visit happyislandbooks.com to find out where you can pick up some other copies of the book. Keep, in, keep your eyes peeled. Thanks a lot for coming.